Kyle. Yeah? You're on the PV High baseball team, right? Yeah. Wait, you're... J.R. Chandler, AJ's dad. You were in a coma. Not anymore. Yeah, I heard my dad talking about how you woke up. Huh. AJ must have been psyched. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you're something of an entrepreneur these days. What you got in that backpack, big guy? Be a little overprotective, are we? Books. For school. Well, you mind if I take a look? I'd love to see what they're teaching you guys these days. AJ, he's got the same class as I do. I gotta go. I don't think AJ has the same extracurriculars that you do, though. You like a little extra juice, am I right? Sell a little on the side? I don't know what you're talking about. Give me the backpack, Kyle. No way. Let's see. Teachers, coaches, parents, police. What do you think we'd most like to know about your writing? Let me hand it over and I'll dispose of it. It'll be our little secret, not even AJ. Right? No hits from facial recognition software. If this guy's a Kozlov, he's kept a lower profile than any of them. Well, if this is a Kozlov icon, then he is part of the family. Well, we have to enhance the picture, but it looks close enough to me. It still doesn't explain who he is, though. What is that right here? Is that a maker's mark right there in the corner? It's small, but you can see it. Oh, yeah. Good eye. Is that a compliment? It's just an observation. See, it's funny. What I heard was, wow, Zach, you are so strong and good looking, and I can't wait to just spend time with you all the time. Are I'm you happy trying to annoy me? Because no. it's working. It's just an observation. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. oh. Tests for STDs, HIV, Hep A, B, and C, all negative. What? There's, there's bad news, though. Aside from the heroin withdrawal that Cassandra is going through, she's also pregnant. This is not your fault. AJ, people at school won't sit next to me. They won't talk to me. They won't even look at me. Because, because of Hunter. Exactly. Because they know that if they're even remotely associated with me, they're at risk of being humiliated, bullied, beat up. I can't keep doing this, especially to you. Stop. Just stop. He didn't do anything. You need to stay away from Hunter. Yeah. And me. It's the only way you'll be safe. No. No. No one controls me. Okay? Not my father. Not my grandfather. And definitely not some poser punk. I'll never turn my back on you. Do you really mean that? Miranda. You're my best friend. Okay? You're my family. You're my life. And I'm never gonna let that go.
Hey. Hi. Hey, I was just thinking about you. Really? Yeah. Um, Winifred said you weren't here. Am I interrupting, or is this okay time? No, no. I was, yeah? I was actually just catching up on the good old stock market. Cool. How was, um, how was the amusement park? It was amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Oliver and I had, like, the best time. So oh, thank you I'm so, so glad much. To hear that. No, okay, I, I, okay. So I told him I said a, a special friend let us borrow his plane <laughs> to get down there, and he insisted that we bring you back something. So go ahead. All right. <laughs> Does this mean that I'm number one? Yeah. Yeah, you're number one to me, you're number one to my son. So I should have done that. I had to do something. I mean, to be able to be with Oliver like that, there's just... There's just no way I can repay you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> my, my baby is pregnant. And she's already so sick from withdrawal. Oh, my God. All the drugs that they got her hooked on. What that would do to a baby? The chances of it being a viable fetus for full term. Full are term? Not are you serious? No. She cannot carry this baby. I mean, really, do you, do you want to see her relive this nightmare over and over again for the next nine months? No, she is not gonna suffer any more than she already has. I can't disagree. But when the time comes for Cassandra to know the truth, that decision is ultimately up to her. Please. Please, I need something, just a little bit, and it hurts, it hurts. Yeah, that's because you're in full withdrawal. It can be very unpleasant. <laughs> We're going to help you some by giving you a pill called Suboxin. It will lessen some of what you're feeling right now, but it could take a while, a few days at least, before you're feeling anywhere close to normal. Oh, Mom, it hurts. <laughs> Please make it stop. I know, sweetheart, I am so sorry. But you are going to get through this. You are going to get through this. Mama's not going anywhere, baby girl. Okay, I got you. I got you. And Jesse's here too. Mr. Highgrove? Yes. Oh, you must be telling me again? Mr. Constantine. Constantine, come on in. Come on in. This is my wife. Uh, Mrs. Highgrove. Hello. Thanks for coming over here. Appreciate uh, it. My pleasure. May I? Sure. <clears throat> We're going overseas for about four weeks, and the little wife wants some new jewelry. I hope you'll find oh. something of interest. Oh, wow. These are beautiful pieces. All made by you, I assume? Indeed. Mm. This one is stunning. Wow. I look good on you, I think. Wow, that thing, huh? Pretty. So, very good. Oh, what else might you be interested in? I was told that you do custom work. Of course. I was thinking of my family crest on a pendant. Much like the icon work on this one. Where did you find that? An old ex-lover of mine. It is your work, isn't it? It is. Great. Then you must know the Kozlov family. I may have uh, made some jewelry from them at some time. Mm. Yes. Yuri was so mad at me when we broke up because I didn't want to give it back. Is it one of a kind? No, I made three. Oh. For Yuri, his father, and... The other brother, Vladimir. Well, now that I'm happily married, I, I would, would like to give this back to Yuri. Do you know where I can get in contact with Yuri or his brother, Vladimir? No, uh, no, I do not. Unfortunately, I am much too busy to take on any custom work right now. I really must go. 
Mr. Constantine. Yes. How much for that? Six hundred. Uh, let's call it eight. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. Goodbye. I need to meet with you. It's urgent. That's about Slater. So they give you a hard time for taking off to hospital? Uh, yeah, about that. Haven't been there yet. I came straight here from the airport to thank you. Oh, well, I'm honored. You're like hitting that magic group you were talking about, huh? Yeah, I know. I think so. It's I mean, perfect wow. balance, you know, diet. Exercise, vitamins. Like you're not even using that thing. You know, I think it has something to do with you. You could catch me if I fell. <laughs> <laughs> that would not be a pretty picture. Um, but seriously, though, 8 a.m. tomorrow is good? Yeah, wouldn't miss it. Cool. Hey, you know what? Um, I know it's really early, but you got to be starving from that flight. They probably didn't feed you. You want to go grab dinner? Huh. Oh, we can go out this time. Okay. All right, okay. But I'm going to buy you. Dinner. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. I am, yeah. I am far too old-fashioned for that. Really? Yes. Okay. Then we go somewhere light, like Jane's. Uh -huh. Sounds great. Cool. Jay, you really got to stop doing this. I told you. Uh, hey, Jay, what the hell happened to you? Are you Kara? okay? Yeah, my face. Um, you know what? I was just playing a little pickup game. Caught a line drive, hit back at me. Or rather, my face did. And the lip? Uh... Diving for the ball in the dirt, you know, it's not a big deal and it's not my day, so. Well, has anybody taken a look at it? I it's mean, look at just the bruise, Dad, okay? It's, it's fine. Kara, can you take a look at it, please? Of course. All right. Let me see. Look, it just looks worse than it really is. Keep some ice on it to keep the swelling oh, down. Don't worry, I'll make sure he does. You know what? We should probably take a rain check, Kara. Absolutely. What? No, 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 yes. that's stupid. I'm, I'm fine. It's not a big deal. I'm just a hard player, okay? You should go. Okay. Oh, then I'll check on you later. All right? Ouch. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> Is this seat taken? I assume that's a rhetorical question. I suppose it is. Do you mind if I sit with you? Not at all. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> so, I did some research on you, Doctor. Really? Why would you do that? Well, turnabout's fair play. Besides, the Hubbards are old family friends. I wanted to make sure Cassandra was getting the best possible care, and indeed she is. Yeah, well, I could have told you that. Saved you some. Time and effort. Right. So, um, why did you decide to move to Pine Valley? Uh, they offered me a staff position, and I took it. That's usually the way it works. You weren't happy in Denver? Sorry, I, I said I did some research. Let's just say I thrive on new challenges. Are you... Attempting to psychologically profile me, Ms. Martin? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, no. I'm, I'm just trying to make... getting to know you chit-chat. Well, I don't do chit-chat very well. Sorry if I've disappointed you. And no, I've you got, haven't disappointed uh, me. An appointment, so enjoy your coffee. Ah, uh, thanks. You know, if we do engage in some sort of sociological, observational, interpersonal exercise, I'd be glad to give you my initial conclusions. Okay. You are by far the most attractive therapist I've ever met. No, 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 stop, stop! That is so not fair! I totally just kicked your ass again. You know what? You did not, actually, because I let you in. You're a girl, so. Oh, no. Oh, you liar! I 
I beat you, you no, fair and square. You did it. No, yes, no, I did. No, I did it. Did and you'll start to go. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Um, I, you know what? You did. You won. Damn straight, I did. Three times in a row. I'm not a girl anymore. Whoa, I mean, I hate to say this, but um, the boobs and lack of facial hair already gave you away. Shut up. You know, what I mean is, I'm a woman. I need to learn to fight my own battles. I have to learn to ignore Hunter until he leaves me alone. Okay, you know what? Um, I would think that that was a good plan, except for the fact that I'm kind of with a girl, woman, who is known to cry at cat food commercials. What, are you saying I can't handle myself? No, easy, okay? I'm just saying that you're known to be a little sensitive. And Hunter knows how to push all the right buttons and I care about you, so I'm not gonna let that happen. Yeah, but you can't always be here for me, Ace. I have to learn to handle Hunter on my own. Mom, please, <laughs> help me here. Make it stop. It's okay. Make it stop. It's okay, help me sweetheart. Make it stop. The medicine, the medicine, the medicine is gonna start working, baby. I promise you it's gonna start working. Your daughter's gonna make it. I hope you have good news about Slater. It would be shame if I had... Oh, twist it. Brit, she's pregnant. My daughter's pregnant. No one has ever done that to me and lived. Do not try find me again. If I hear you even asking questions, I will kill every member of your family before coming after you. Do I make myself clear? You are a brave man, Chief Hubbard. But there is a fine line between brave and foolish. Don't be stupid enough to cross that line again. Thank you for being here, again. Hey. How's she doing? She's having a tough time. Is she awake? In and out. I know it's a difficult thing to ask, but do you think I could talk to her and maybe Show a picture. Will it help catch the monsters who did this to her? It might. It might also help the other girls that are caught up in this. Anything for you.
that's in charge. <laughs> and he did everything the other guy told him. long before I can ditch this thing. Okay, well, let's, you know, not push it, but you're, this is like, this is like a miracle. <laughs> oh, once I set my mind to something? There's something to be said for tenacity and determination, for sure. Is that your way of saying I'm hard-headed and stubborn? No, it's my way of saying I am proud of you. Face. Wow. Well, clumsy running out of here, smacking through the door. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do? How, how are we supposed to tell her after everything she's been through? Now this. Now she's pregnant. Jesse. Jesse, please. <sighs> I need you strong right now, okay? Cassandra needs you strong. I know. How's the face? I'm good. Well, is there anything you want to talk about? Like what? Like who really gave you that shiner? Your dad's not stupid, AJ. God, okay, Hunter pulls some crazy shit on Miranda, okay? He's still bullying you? Yeah, and I went there to tell him how I felt about it, but he was there with his freaking buddies. Why don't you want to tell me, AJ? Uh, because I didn't want you to make it worse and go off on him? All right, well, I appreciate you being straight with me. All right, well, listen, I'm not going to do anything, okay, but this is going to end right now. Okay, he's hurting two people that I love and care about very much. So I'm going to keep this as quiet as I can, but I am going to talk to his father. Okay? Hey. Maybe your dad can't help. Yeah, I doubt it. Um, you should get that. It's, um, it's probably Heather. I'll leave you two alone. Yeah, no, no, I'm here. What's up? Uh-huh. No, I'm just hanging out. Why? What are you up to? Hey. 